Cheers. Cheers, mate. <laughs> it's actually quite nice. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Got some brekkie. Yes. <laughs> Got oh some brekkie. <laughs> okay, guys. So me and Chris are here and we're still in Austria. And on day two of the expedition, we are running down this mountain after swimming in the Dragon Lake. <laughs> Literally, that's what it's called. And I'll show you the video, but we were running and I saw this point where I thought it could be cool to jump off and like be like Tony Hawk. I ended up spraining my ankle really bad. Yesterday I got it wrapped up and went to the doctor. I got an x-ray, it's not broken. But you know, it, it could have actually changed the vibe of the trip. But I'm using it to my advantage actually. I'm seeing how I can use my breathing practices, my cold exposure, and a healthy mindset to see if I can actually speed up my recovery. Sounds crazy, but I believe with the breathing method, the Wim Hof method, um, I think that it could help bring down the inflammation. I think it could potentially help with pain relief, as we've seen in some studies, with the cold, you know, it's gonna help with recovery. So I believe with me super maxing the Wim Hof method, I'm gonna see if I can speed up my recovery. And we're currently on day three of the road trip. So hopefully my intention is, this is usually a, th a two to four week recovery. Let's see if what, how I feel in five days and so forth. So I think today we're going to Triglav National Park yeah. in Slovenia, cool. So right. find a nice camping spot there. Yeah, go slower. A little um, slower. Slow a little bit down and take it easy. Yeah. There's no no time for rushing. We got enough time. We're on vacation, <laughs> so <laughs> we we enjoy the views and everything we got in front of us. Right on. Water's nice and cold, so we're gonna just gonna keep it in here for maybe five, ten minutes. Let nature do its thing, man. <laughs> the wild Chris Krause going into the cold, prepares himself, sets his mindset, and he's going in. Oh, jumping into the waterfall. Oh, he sits down. Feels the power. <laughs> I wish I could go over there and swim, but I think with my foot, hopping around those rocks isn't a good idea, is it? But maybe I'll let Chris go in and give him the camera. I'm a Wim Hof instructor, but he's soon to be Wim Hof instructor. We use cold exposure a lot in our daily practice for, you know, increased energy, yada, yada, yada. But more importantly, like, just you feel alive. Look at him. Sun's coming out too, man. Yeah.
Pennsylvania and we're about an hour away from Shiglap National Park and we were just talking about how unique the the, the houses are. I mean, Chris is from Germany and he's he's like, wow, these are amazing. Okay guys, we just got to campsite in Trigolad National Park. This park is what I've been looking forward to maybe the most on the trip. As my foot is still recovering, I'm gonna go in for the second cold plunge of the day. Again, bring down that inflammation and get a little energy as well. Tonight I'm gonna do some, I'm gonna do like five rounds of Wim Hof breathing. This is the van right now. <laughs> you ready to go? Let's go. Hallelujah, hallelujah. <laughs> this is nice. Look at this river. A good spot right there. Over here. I like that beach there. Pachi mama. Pachi mama. <sighs> Okay, let's go. Nice and cold. Oh, look at the ducks going by, giving us a good omen. Easy does it. We got Chris doing some breathing, man. All to say, the Wim Hof method is not just about cold plunging or using the cold showers to ice baths. There's three pillars to it. And I think for you to gain the full measure of this method is to do the breathing with the mindset in the commitment pillar with the cold and these three things may change your life it surely has changed mine and now that i have the sprained ankle i'm seeing that seeing if this method can even help me with this all right we're about two minutes i'm gonna take a dunk and then just let my foot stay in here oh. <laughs> I think we earned a warm shower. <laughs> but finish cold. <laughs> oh, trust your feeling. <laughs> no, I don't know. It's crazy, man. Like one more month, it's gonna be like super cold. Rise, Chris Kraus. Look at that man go. Okay, I'm gonna give him space now. <laughs> oh. He's not moving at all. Breathe the pain away. Yeah, right. Nice work. Okay, so while Chris is cooking dinner, I'm sitting here like a bum. Uh, I'm gonna do some more Wim Hof breathing. I've actually done eight rounds today. I'm gonna keep it going. Let's go with the flow of the breath. No pause between inhalation and exhalation. Thinking how powerful the Wim Hof method breathing and the cold exposure has been for this trip for me has been incredible. I'm falling in love with this method even more because think about it. I could be whining and, and moping and just complaining that like, man, I sprained my ankle and here I am in some of the most beautiful places in the planet and I only got really one foot and that's changing rapidly. But that could really set your course up for, you know, a horrible day. This breathing is in the cold. It's helping my mindset be so much more positive in this situation. I'm just extremely grateful for this. And when I was doing the breathing, I felt 
a lot of cool sensations in my leg, my ankle specifically. You know when your foot's throbbing in pain? It was like opposite, where my foot was like kind of moving, but it was still, but I felt some movement in there. Even now, my foot feels almost like not numb, but it has like this like tangling sensation. It feels like relieved. I feel it. I feel it helping. After I do the breathing, the feeling of the pain is a lot less. I'm going to wake up, do the same thing tomorrow, but um, I'm in Trigola National Park. You're talking the most beautiful waterfalls maybe I've ever seen in my life so far and amazing rivers and, and valleys. So I'm going to hit it hard in recovery. This is a really fun challenge for me. I would say though, like I'm not being stupid. I'm being smart about it, but I do have a lot of confidence in the body's ability to heal through breathing, especially, and then help with some cold. We got it. So guys, I'll see you tomorrow. Let's create the life we love. You know, we come up with challenges a lot in our lives, but if we have some tools in our tool belt to get over the hump or the right mindset, we can accomplish anything. All right, have a great day, guys. Let's create the life we love. Woo! Huawei. Huawei. I'm ready to go.